Welcome to another video on Minitab tutorials. In this video, we will understand how do we use a 3D surface plot. In my previous video, I have explained about how to use a contour plot to understand the impact of two continuous input or process variable on an output variable. In this video, we will understand how the same thing can be analyzed using 3D surface plot. Let's go to the video. As I was explaining in my previous video, I am going to use the same set of data, thickness and film density and tensile strength. So in this process, as I was explaining, thickness is my output parameter. This is the process of making metal plates. So thickness of the metal plates is, plates is my output parameter or response parameter, which is a continuous variable. And my input variables or process variables are film density and tensile strength. So what is the role of film density and tensile strength in getting a required level of thickness is what we are going to understand using this graphical representation. So as I was explaining in my previous video, contour plots gives you an understanding of the same impact of uh, film density and tensile strength. In fact, how is the interaction effect of film density and tensile strength is on your output variable called thickness of your metal plate. The same interaction effect is what we are going to see in this graph also. In my personal view, I think the 3D surface plot is a much better way of understanding this compared to car, uh, contour plots. Both gives you the same information, but it gives you a relatively better understanding. So let's see why uh, a 3D surface plot is a better uh, representation. Let's see that. So I click on 3D surface plot. So here I can select two options. So let me first show you the surface plot, the, the simple one. And then I'll also show you the uh, wireframe version of the same data. Okay. So I select this surface version and then I select OK. So here I can select thickness as my output parameter or response parameter, film density as my input parameter. And here I'm selecting tensile strength as my second input parameter. So I click on OK. So the graph will be generated like this. Now, if you see this graph, it may look difficult for us to understand. So let me tell you how to understand this graph. So in this particular case, we can understand this graph. So let me just a minute. Yeah, we can understand this graph by using this axis. So if you see here, your Z axis, the Z axis represents your output parameter, your Y axis and X axis represents two input parameter. So you can use these options here in your mini tab to rotate this graph the way we want. And this is to rotate it on the Z axis. This is to rotate it on your Y axis. If you want to rotate it on your Y axis and these two icons here is to rotate it on your X axis. So for a better understanding, let me keep the graph in this particular angle so that we can understand this better. So here you have your film density. Here you have your tensile strength and as this is in Z axis thickness, the high, the third dimension is where you see thickness and you see there are places where thickness is spiking out, spiking out in the sense in between or in the X and Y axis, there are certain interaction areas where you have a better thickness and you need to identify that better thickness and that's when you will be able to do a a better job in terms of optimizing your output. Maybe this is a slightly difficult uh, view of this chart. You may find it difficult to understand how, how does this chart work. But what, what you can see here is these are points where when your tensile strength and film density have an interaction effect, you get a better thickness. So as I told, this might look slightly difficult for us to understand. We will convert this graph or we will see a different version of the same graph. So what I do, I close this and I again, I click on graph. I click on 3D surface plot. Now I select the wireframe version. Now I select this wireframe version and then I click OK. My other, pa other parameters are still the same. Thickness, film density and tensile strength. I click OK. Now I get a graph like this. Maybe this graph will be relatively easy for us to understand. So let's rotate this and get a better view of it. So I am using my X, Y axis rotation options to get a better view of it. Now, if you see this at this point, 
these are places where there are some spike but this is a place where you have a much much better spike and this is where you will be able to optimize thickness by controlling your film density and tensile strength so you'll be able to rotate this graph the way you want and then have a view of what you are looking for and this is where there is a much better interaction effect of tensile strength and film density so what you see in a two dimensional version in your contour plot you will be able to showcase the same in a three dimensional version in contour plot the third dimension the response parameter is actually explained using the, uh, the uh, color shade the light or the dark shade of that color tells you how you are able to manage your uh, response parameter whereas in this particular three dimensional surface plot you will be able to understand the impact of your input and process variable in this particular example it is your tensile strength and film density how the tensile strength and film density is impacting the uh, output parameter thickness and if you see in this axis it is very clear that if you want to achieve a higher thickness this is the point at which you will be able to achieve a uh, higher thickness and this is where you have a, a good optimized interaction of uh, your tensile strength and film density so this was explained in the previous vid uh, video how it is the same concept is getting explained using your uh, contour plots using the uh, color shade the dark uh, shade of the output parameter in this example we are uh, seeing the same with the help of a three dimensional chart friends i hope this video was helpful in terms of understanding how to use surface plot to examine the relationship between a continuous output variable in this case thickness against the interaction effect of two continuous input or process variables in this case which is film density and tensile strength hope this video was useful for more videos on mini tab tools techniques graphical representation please subscribe to our channel thank you very much